Get ready with me to turn into Barbie. I am so excited. It is Halloween weekend. I'm filming this in real time, doing my best to get it up ASAP for you. I'm not filming this look on another day where it's Halloween. It is go time. We're becoming Barbie. We're going to do a Halloween party tonight. I'm so excited. Let's do it. I just made a fresh iced coffee. It's like 1 p.m. and I don't have plans for a long time. But number one, I want to get good pictures. Number two, I want to take my time. I washed my hair last night. I self tanned last night. I even put in this mousse in my hair, which literally makes the biggest difference for styling. It like thickens your hair. I don't know. It's kind of crazy. I'm just going to quickly put in some heat protectant and then I'll tell you more and we'll get started. Here is the setup. I moved to the floor so I can sit while I do my hair and we have company. If you hear him chewing his bone, I am sorry. Okay, so we're being Barbie. Yes, there's like a million Barbies you can be, right? So I wanted to be just like the basic like opening scene Barbie if you've seen the movie. I know technically the opening scene is like the old swimsuit, black and white, curly hair Barbie. Not that, but like the pink dress, pink plaid moment. I did a purple shampoo last night, so my hair is fairly bright. I do wish my roots were freshly done because that would just be perfect, but you know, everything can't be perfect. So what we're doing is rollers. Hello. He has to be touching me. Basically Basically her hair is just like a little curled, has volume, she has the bow, so we are doing rollers. Rollers are hit or miss for me. I'm also sweating already and I haven't even lifted my arms. This might be a little weird, but I actually think I want to do the top section first. I know people usually do it last, but I always run out of room on my head, so I might kind of work my way backwards. Every time I try rollers, I question my life. I literally thought this would be such a good idea and I can't figure it out. I literally, I, oh, ah. Uh, I've been struggling for the past, I don't know how long. It's two o'clock and I need to figure my shit out because I can't, I can't do this. I think I have to just do it the normal way. Maybe there's a reason people start from the bottom. The video's like barely started and I'm already like casually having a mental breakdown. Hair is so hard. So yeah, let's talk about the Barbie movie. Um, I loved it. Have you seen it? Let me know. So Barbie, right, like the Barbie doll, the creator of it created it essentially for her daughter, like an inspiration of her daughter. Not for it to look like her daughter, but so her daughter had something to play with that wasn't a baby doll, you know, because that's what little girls played with back in the day. Barbie is named after Barbara, who's the daughter of the creator, and we have the same birthday. So, you know, it's just right. Barbara and I were both born on May 21st. Barbie was my absolute favorite toy growing up. My cousin and I would play Barbies all day every day and it was the time of my life. My favorite Barbie was actually Ariel from The Little Mermaid and she had a removable tail. She had legs and a tail. It was like legendary. Going into the Barbie movie like it definitely wasn't what I expected it to be but then again I don't really know what I expected it to be but I did love it. We can do this. I'm using a T3 curling iron. I honestly love T3 products. This one however is one of their newer ones. It's one of those curls for you. Very cool. Did you hear that? It literally beeps when it's done. This is the part that I like freak out. I set my curling iron down. I don't want it to burn things, but I need to grab a roller. I'm like, which size do I grab? Like, I don't want the curl to cool down. Like, I freak out for absolutely no reason, but that's just how my brain works. But also, it's like I want to brush it out so that it doesn't end up all like kinky or anything. It's a lot of work, but I always love how it turns out if I can actually do it. Now I just have to do that like 40 more times. Okay, not 40. That's a bit dramatic. I follow this girl on TikTok named Abby Buffo. She is like the queen of hair and I love her. She's also just so funny. Okay, why do I feel like I already hate this though? Ah! <laughs> the goal is to flip directions. At, fuck. Every... Fuck. Every other for maximum volume. Okay, wait. That one feels good. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Once I get through hair, I'll be a lot happier. I purposely always wear a zip up so that when I like change and stuff, I can easily take this off if my hair can't be bothered. Okay, I'm gonna get bobby pins. Maybe that would help these stay. I like, I'm like walking so careful to not trigger anything. Look at this king. <laughs> I love him so much. When I tell you this seriously takes me so much focus and concentration, I've been silent. I can't multitask at all. I think it's okay so far. It's 2.18. I have no idea what time I have to be ready. What do you have? Oh, nothing. What an angel. Are you a good boy? It's been a day. Stressing out like crazy. Just wanna be lazy with my girls. It's been a day. We gonna get wavy. Layer on some diamonds stretch, baby. and some pearls. I love you so much. You're being such a good boy, Dunk. The top is messy. I gotta be done. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. The update is that it's almost three o'clock and I've been doing this since before too. We just need to move on. I'm gonna paint my nails. 
It's time. I'm not like insanely better at makeup compared to hair, but it's way less physically intensive. First off, I have a little bit of concealer on. I'm gonna take that off. You're actually in my sink. So, excuse me. I am breaking out so bad right now because I'm about to get my period and that's just how life works for me But you know what? It's okay. Things could be worse So I'm gonna reapply some moisturizer since I just got my face wet and it's been a while and I have dry skin The one thing I hate though is when I self tan it stains any like acne spots whether it's scars whether it's scabs anything there It's it stains it so I'm like oh great my face has a nice glow yet You can see everything so much clearer. I love the ultra repair cream by first aid beauty It will forever be my favorite moisturizer. So it is Friday of Halloween weekend I didn't do anything last night when I was younger, right? We would do like a Thursday Friday Saturday thing like wild, but no, no, no. At 25, you don't do that. I'm just kidding. I'm not actually old, and I don't feel old. I don't ever, like, joke about, like, 25's old, because, like, it's just not. It's literally not. My point is, <laughs> I'm just doing Halloween stuff today. I'm actually going to the Badger game tomorrow. It's Wisconsin versus Ohio State. I went to college here, and I still live in the Madison area, and we go to Badger games sometimes, because why not? It's a really big game. It'll be a lot of fun. It's a night game, too, so, like, Halloween today, game day tomorrow. I also was a cheerleader, like, all of my life, and so I love school spirit. Like, <laughs> it's one of my favorite things. So I will always go back to game days. Primer. This is by Lancome. It has SPF in it. I actually really like it. I like when primers are more of like a liquidy consistency. I feel like it just agrees with my skin a lot more. Tonight, I'm just going to an apartment. I have a good amount of friends that live in the Madison area. A lot of my friends from college, I graduated, I was like the first COVID class. So I graduated May of 2020. A lot of my friends since then did move away. A lot of my friends actually moved to Milwaukee. Personally, I don't want to live in Milwaukee. If I'm going to move away from Madison, I'm moving state. So that's how I always thought of it. I do have a solid group that's still in Madison though so we're going to one of our friends apartments she has like a party room and she has a reserved which is super awesome honestly halloween is hit or miss whether we do the whole bar scene or we literally just chill casual little inside party because why not like sometimes it's fun when it's just your friends and do i feel like wearing a halloween costume to a bar and is it going to be too cold you know it's like there's so many variables at the end of october that just you just don't know what the night's going to entail i do like to put on chapstick while i'm doing other makeup pulls out giant aquaphor tube yes i know it's dramatic but hey so am I. Hair makeup outfit. Hair makeup outfit. My friend Sarah posted a TikTok about this and I agree. That's just the formula. That's definitely what I do. However, obviously I want these to sit as long as possible, but I do think it's a pain to do my face makeup around my rollers. You'd think, oh, it's nice. It gets out of your face, but like it just doesn't. <laughs> like I feel like I have to push them back. But you know what? Beauty is pain. Beauty is difficult and we're going to do what we got to do. I literally love this foundation. It is drugstore. It's L'Oreal. It's their true match. It's an OG, but I love it. Oh shoot. I forgot. First we're going in with the L glow so basically the barbie i'm going as i'm pretty sure you know her makeup's pretty natural i tried to look up a lot of pictures of like margot robbie in the movie and see how her makeup was done especially in the scenes of the barbie that i'm trying to be and it's literally just so natural so i'm not going to do anything crazy i think i'm going to do a little like extra blush a little maybe pinky eyeshadow just to hone in on the whole pink thing oh no 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 i have a unibrow oh no oh no 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 i was gonna fix that and i didn't fix that i have to fix that my eyebrows grow in like beasts and i was gonna quickly just like shave between my eyebrows i forgot to do that barbie does not have a unibrow we can just go over that so kind of life update but not really Really at all. I'm really hoping to sign a lease next week in Austin, Texas. I plan to move right after the new year and so pricing is available now to move within the next two months because that's just how it works. Like you can't plan to move like a year in advance otherwise I would have had a lease signed probably for a while now and I'm so excited for moving content. I know that's like not my niche or whatever which like a get ready with me isn't really either. I'm very much healthy lifestyle you know I love that stuff but that doesn't mean I can't love other stuff right so like every once in a while it's fun to change it up whatever and moving content. I love to watch it. I love to film it. And so when I move, I'm definitely going to be doing it. I have no idea the logistics. So where I live now, all the furniture and stuff does not belong to me. So like I don't have a ton to move. I do have a couple furniture pieces, but like I'm not moving a bed, like nothing crazy like that. So it's like, okay, maybe we rent a smaller U-Haul. Maybe we... I don't know. Keep in mind, from Madison to Austin, Texas is like minimum 17-hour drive. So it's a road trip, right? It's going to have to be like a whole deal, 
which is fine, you know, I want to move there. So like, you got to do what you got to do and it could be worse. So I don't know the logistics of what I want to do or what makes the most sense, but I want to film packing for it. I want to film the whole road trip and the empty apartment tour and the setting up my apartment, you know, all of it. And I'm very excited. So if you're not subscribed and you're still listening to me talk, you should definitely subscribe so that you can follow along for that. And because it truly does help me out, you know, like liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, you know, all that stuff. I don't know if you will realize how much it actually helps, but it actually helps. We need the all-nighter setting spray for sure. I am obviously gonna miss my friends since I do have like a group here of friends that I hang out with and I have not had to make new friends in so long. Like I know people say making friends as an adult is hard, but I've been around college friends for the past few years since graduating. So I have not had to try to make friends as an adult. So I'm nervous. I'm definitely gonna be hopping on like the full Bumble BFF thing. If you've had success and you've tried that, you should definitely let me know because I don't know how it works. Well, I know how like those apps work, but I just mean the unwritten rules. It's also not like a dating app, right? Like a dating app, you definitely judge a book by its cover, at least somewhat. But like a friend is different. I am very outgoing though. But like I said, I haven't had to try to make new friends in forever. I'm so iffy about powders because I have such dry skin and I just, I don't know, I like the dewy finish, but also I want this to last a long time. And sometimes it just makes sense to set it. This is the one size translucent setting powder. Oh my goodness, I also forgot. I was gonna like dermaplane my whole face, like shave it all for today. Didn't do that. It is far too late for that. Can you tell? where I powdered and if it looks good or bad. I feel like the foundation really, really matches my skin, like texture and color. I need to take a break. <laughs> okay, I'm back. NYX Wonderstick, I love these things. So my friend, Katie, who's been in like a fair amount of videos. Oh, is that too low? I really don't film around friends that much, but she's been like on my videos the most of any friends. And she is hopping on the YouTube grind. So I'm gonna link her channel because you should subscribe to her. She's more so on kind of like the fashion and lifestyle. And if things, those in New York, I think her life is cool. <laughs> New York City is just fascinating to me. Anytime I go, I'm like, the magic is in the air. I wanna come back and like, I just, I love it. Like I would never live there, but I love to go there. I've been there like literally only three times. It's not like I've been a bunch of times, but it just fascinates me. So you should definitely subscribe to her. Let's talk about my Halloween costumes in the past. I haven't dressed up like every single year in a row. My favorite that came up on like my memories today on my phone was I went as Pennywise and I actually think I did it pretty well. It was my senior year of college. I went as popcorn one year because I was in a popcorn phase and I was like, you know what? I need to be popcorn. I bought these game day leggings. Keep in mind like this college I went to was red, red and white. And so I had these leggings that look like this and this looks like the bottom of the popcorn box so for months like I got those leggings probably in like September of that year I would not shut up about how I wanted to be popcorn for Halloween so I was popcorn <laughs> like just such a random thing but I just needed to be it oh that's very bright I love it oh my gosh okay question I've been thinking about this for weeks now I know it's only October what do we think about vlogmas you guys is it cool is it lame is it annoying to see like literally post every single day from so many people do you like it like what are your thoughts I have attempted it so many times every year it gets to be that time and I'm like I want to do it it's just exciting it's you know the most wonderful time of the year whatever although I, I do prefer fall I love fall over all other seasons but like I just I want to do it it means that I won't be sleeping like all of December which is fine if I had help with editing, I could manage it better, but I just don't, you know, which is totally fine. But so what are your thoughts? Please let me know. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Should I do it? Is it overrated? I just like, I just think it's cute and fun and special and it can be a really busy month, December. I am slowly realizing that this is going to be the last two months I'm spending in this house like ever in my entire life. I've lived here, it's been like three and a half years, which I haven't lived anywhere that long <laughs> since obviously before college because in college, I don't know if this is how every college does it but we would move like every year you might live with the same roommates if you want but like we would move every year so I lived in a different place all four years that's just like what we're used to and what we did which also means I haven't moved in what feels like forever so the whole moving thing is gonna be stressful and hectic and I haven't done it in a while <sighs> spray this down I'm just gonna kind of do eyeshadow that I like on me and then maybe add some pink at the end it is so hard to do my left eye okay okay do I look a little messed up maybe but it's Halloween. It could be intentional. The intense blush, it's a Barbie thing. <laughs> it's not because I overdid it, it's because it's a Barbie thing. I've never tried this, I don't think. This is a Simply Spiked Lemonade Blueberry, Blueberry Lemonade flavor. I need to add pink to my eyes. I just don't know where to do that. You know, maybe you should actually learn about makeup instead of complaining about not knowing how to do it, right? Someone needs to tell her. Tarte blush, 
I actually have a good amount of Tarte products. Love their blush, Tartlet eyeshadow palette, my absolute fave. These shades, ooh, I just, I love them so much. I bought this for myself for Christmas last year. Not that it was like a crazy expensive thing, but I was really needing a new eyeshadow palette. Also love a good Tarte Shape Tape. Let's just like add some, ooh, pink into the crease. That's a look, and there's no turning back, but actually it's kind of cute. Adorable! Uh, matches the blush. Can you even tell? Oh, you can totally tell. <gasps> Isn't it so cute? I love a good Benefit tinted gel. See, that's the thing is I use a lot of drugstore makeup because I really love drugstore, but I also, my go-tos that are not drugstore, definitely Benefit, definitely Tarte. I brush my eyebrows up super crazy, just to let them like sit for a second, but I'll fix them, don't worry. I love the Merit Beauty highlight. It's like my favorite. I just do a little on my finger. Like Barbie would like a little highlight, you know, she likes to glow. I just love being a girl. I love it. And like boys can wear makeup. I get that. But like, I'm just saying, like, I just love being a girl. The thing I miss though so much is like being in college with your girl roommates, like getting ready together, playing music throughout the house, getting ready to like go out for the night, like getting ready when you're either by yourself or like with a boy <laughs> does not hit the same at all. Okay. Are you Serious. This is the second one he's gotten in like a month. I swear it was not within reach. Apparently I have to put these away the second I'm done using them. Duncan! Oh my gosh, you know what I was thinking? Which I should do it one of these years, like soon. I get so many comments. My most common comment is, you look like Lady Gaga. Has anyone told you you look like Lady Gaga? You look and sound like Lady Gaga, like Lady blah, 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 whatever. Which is not an insult. I mean, when I first got told it, it was a couple years ago. It was actually in person the first time I heard it. I didn't know how to take it because it was around this time that A Star Is Born came out and I haven't seen the movie yet and I didn't really know like what Lady Gaga looked like those days. Just wasn't really following her much. So my mind automatically went back to meat dress, you know, that era. And so I was like, what does this mean, you guys? Like, how do I take this? But now I'm like, okay, I'll take it as a compliment. She is a beautiful human. And so I was thinking one year I should try to be her. And when I say be her, I'll take like one of her most iconic or like popular looks and I'll recreate it. I'll try to do my makeup just like her best I can and outfit whatever so that even if I like look like her now, I'll like really look like her, you know? So I think that would be a lot of fun to do one year. Unfortunately, I am not doing it this year, but I'm really happy to be Barbie. Mascara time. Lash Paradise L'Oreal is the best. I always use a primer too. I think it makes a pretty big difference. Let it sit for just a minute. Not too long though. I do think I have pretty decent lashes, but just like this mascara, man, I, I don't know if I could ever love another mascara as much as I love this one. And anytime I do makeup, I give that exact speech. Do you recognize this mirror? It's like a Friends mirror, the show. Huge Friends fan. Best episode, favorite all-time episode, the one where no one's ready. Another good one, the one where Joey speaks French or Joey learns French, whatever that is. If you don't have an eyelash comb, you need to get one. It's not a curler. It literally just like combs through your eyelashes. Because no matter how good your mascara is, sometimes your lashes might stick together or just like some of them you want to separate a little bit further. I am sweating. <laughs> Getting ready is a process. Ready? Look at this! Isn't it so cute? I literally, I love it so much. I'm like just gonna add it to my dress collection. Like I'm gonna wear it after Halloween. So this is a kid's costume actually from Amazon. <laughs> Ready? This is the scary part. Here it goes. Maybe we could go to the mall, get our nails done, get our hair done, we fly. Maybe we could holler at the boys, looking so good. So when they walk back. One day, I will be good at these. One day. <laughs> it's just a lot of crazy right now. I mean, it's not terrible. For accessories, we have the necklace she wears in the very beginning of the movie and the earrings to match. Love. We have the belt that goes around the waist. <sighs> Barbie snatched. <laughs> I also have, she wears a bow kind of like the top back. I do not like my hair half up. I don't know, I just don't. But I'm gonna figure it out because like, I gotta wear the bow. My hair is clean, but I am gonna throw some dry shampoo in it just for some extra volume. In the beginning, her hair really is just like subtle waves. It's got volume, it looks alive. Like I feel like this is honestly not bad. I always like to wipe off my lips before I apply anything because like makeup falls on them and stuff and just foundation and whatever. It really looks like she just has a pretty natural lip. So I'm gonna do what I regularly do because it's a color that's pretty natural that I like on me. Like it's nothing crazy. NYX liner is so good and so cheap. This is Peekaboo Neutral. I actually like to line my entire lip. That's the liner. And then, Maybelline Lifter Gloss. This is shade three, which is Moon. It's just a light pink, kind of shimmery. And I feel like that's perfect. Oh, so cute. She kind of has like front bangs, so I'm gonna leave front pieces out. Oh, that's cute, actually. I think this is gonna be cute. 
the shoes. Oh my goodness. So these shoes, yes, of course they're perfect, right? They're not the exact ones she wore in the movie. That's fine. But um, if you <laughs> watch all my videos, you know when I went to New York, these shoes made me bleed. Like I had to clean out the blood stains from these shoes. I had blisters on my Achilles for like three weeks after. Like there's a whole thing. Play the clips. Oh my God. <laughs> That's it's so bad. bad. It's bad. It's bad. Mm. It's so bad. When in New York. We're in. I, I've just been sticking it out because that's all you can do at this point. Oh fuck, it's like all fucked up. <laughs> she's, a, she's a doctor. Thank you. Ow. I can handle it. I'm a tough girl. In fact, she was not over. <laughs> In fact, she was not okay. But I didn't get rid of them because they're freaking adorable, okay? So I'm gonna have to bandage the heck out of my feet because I am wearing these tonight. Beauty is pain. I don't care. Wear comfortable shoes. Absolutely not. I'd rather be bleeding than not wear cute shoes. It's just how it is. It's totally fine. I'm excited. I think it's really cute. I like the pink in my eyes. Okay, I just took some pictures. Here is the final look, the final outfit, how it's put together. Are these shoes not perfect? Although they injure me, they are adorable and they match the dress perfectly. I love them. I'm happy with the makeup. It's nothing like super wild but it's rosy it's blushy it's pink it's barbie it's it's good and i love it and i'm happy and i'm gonna go have fun and have a lovely Halloween weekend. I hope you are as well. Happy Halloween. I love you. Let me know if you dress up, what you're going as. I'm curious, I wanna know. Please subscribe if you have not. Thanks for watching Not My Normal Content and I'll see you in my next one.